Hey everyone, welcome back to the Kane and Mrs. Kang and Disney Dreamlight Valley is officially here and I'm so excited. I'm so excited that actually earlier I streamed this game for about five hours, <laughs> about five hours. So if you want to see some additional streams in the future, make sure you click that bell icon and turn on your notifications so you know when we're streaming. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe because I have a lot of Dreamlight Valley content planned for the future. Anyway, since I streamed this game so much earlier, I picked up some tips along the way during my time in the valley. So without further ado, I'm going to get to my beginner tips for Dreamlight Valley. Let's go. All right. So this tip may be kind of obvious to those who have been playing the game a little bit and picked up things pretty quickly. But if you go to where it says Dreamlight, this is where you're going to get Dreamlight, which unlocks a lot of things in the game. Think of think of the uh, the Nook Miles in Animal Crossing New Horizons basically doing anything in the game are going to unlock additional dream uh light for you to do things such as unlock different areas on your map which is pretty useful and there's several different categories so make sure you're going through each individual category and seeing all the ways you can gather your dream light you can use your dream light around the map here so like let's say for example i can go over here there is a um a way that is blocked and i need some dream light to open it so if we go over here and you see it'll tell you how much dream light you actually need i need uh 3, 000, and i think i have 3000 but i'm not gonna unlock it right now because i want to save my dream light for i don't know what i want to save it for but we're just not going to use it right now <laughs> but anyway make sure you're going in there and checking all the things you can get dream like by doing okay another thing that may seem obvious but some people may forget about it is make sure you go unlock the star path now buying a founder's pack is going to give you enough of the premium currency to unlock your star path. So you want to go up to where it says event. You're going to click on it and you're going to go ahead and unlock it. Uh, so I already have it unlocked and you get a bunch of different things by doing the, the star path, such as extra pets, companions, uh, different motifs, cosmetics, items to wear, outfits, all kind of fun stuff. Think of it like a battle pass from Fortnite or something like that. So the star path is going to be really fun for you to do and a really cool way to get some additional items just by playing the game. Like, look at this jacket. This Lightning McQueen racing jacket looks pretty hot. <laughs> I actually can't wait to get that. And there is, there is even a racing bed. Every kid's fantasy, every kid's dream, a race car bed. <laughs> but anyway, make sure you go unlock your star path. And just like the dream light, there's different things you can do to unlock the points to progress in the star path. So go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, you're going to be looking spiffy in no time. Next tip. So one of the first things you'll notice is that the storage in your house doesn't actually give you very much storage. You're going to fill this up very, very quickly. It only gives you one row. And the only way to upgrade is to actually upgrade your house. So what you want to do is craft an additional chest as soon as you can. Now, this is pretty simple to craft. You need about 25 uh, sticks. I forget what they're called. I think soft wood. You need about 25 sticks and a, a, a few pieces of stone. And this will give you two rows of storage, which is, you know, two is better than one. It's still not a lot, but it is better than one. And you can make multiple of these if you still need storage because the only the first backpack upgrade that you can get in this game costs 5,000 coins, which you may not have early on. So go ahead and make you a couple of chests and you'll be good to go with your storage. So when I first started playing the game, I noticed that there were rocks that had gems poking out of them. And I figured to myself, those are the rocks, obviously, that you'll break to get gemstones. But I did not realize that you can break any of these rocks and they have the chance to drop gemstones. So I have Mickey here with me. He's going to be my helper. And I'm just going to break this rock open and see if we can find some gemstones. Let's see, because we may indeed find some gems. Uh, didn't find any that time. Didn't find any that time, but there's another one right over here. Let's see if we can find some some here. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it. You got it. Okay, we didn't find any there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mickey found something, <laughs> but not a gym, not a gym. Okay, here we have another one, a plain black rock. We're going to smack it a little bit and let's see if we find a gym. Yep, we found a gym. So it doesn't have to be the rocks that have the obvious gems poking out of them. You should just go around and smack all of them because you never know. You never know what you might find. Now, I have a love hate relationship with fishing in most <laughs> in most of these live sim games. But thankfully, fishing in Dreamlike Valley isn't too bad. But one thing you want to be aware of are the different color bubbles. So the white one over here 
is the standard or the normal. The blue one is the rarer. And this gold one here, you're not going to find very often, but that's going to get you some rare fish. So I have Goofy here with me. He's my helper. And I'm going to try to get this one. And hopefully I don't mess up for this video. Hope not. But fishing is pretty simple. Once it tells you to click, you're going to click. And then you're going to want to click again whenever it turns green. Don't click too soon or else you will indeed mess up. Bam, we got it. Nice. And we got a catfish. Pretty cool. Very, very nice. And Goofy should uh, do something here. I think Goofy is going to give me some extra fish. Or he's just going to dance. <laughs> what are you doing, Goofy? You didn't help me at all. Anyway, so be on the lookout for those gold colored bubbles and uh, you'll get some rare fish. Let's go take a look at the blue one, too. Why not? The blue one's right around the corner here. So let's go see what I get from this blue uh, bubble. Hopefully it's something good. Bam. There we go. Are you going to help me, Goofy? There we go. Boop. Up. There we go. Nice. And we got something. We've got a rainbow trout. Very, very cool. Nice. Oh, there he is. Goofy finally decided to do something. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next tip. So one thing about this game that I don't think is super apparent, but I kind of just discovered while I was messing around in the menus. But if you if you press V on your keyboard, if you're on PC, but go to the go to the furniture and while you're outside, you can literally zoom out here. You can literally move many of the objects around on your map. I'm talking about if I don't want this tree here, I can move it. I can move it somewhere else. I can move this whatever that is. I don't know what that is, but I can move it if I want to. I can move this fence. Um, I can I can remove it, too. Uh, if I don't want to undo it, I can undo all and put everything back the way I found it. We can move these lamp posts. Uh, so you can kind of decorate even the outside of your island as much as you want. And let's see here. If you go to landscaping on, on the left, you can even add additional trees and uh, trunks and all kind of different things into your map as you see fit. Now, you can also add uh, paths as well. And, and the pathing is pretty simple. If you go to paths, there are paths you can craft. You have to craft the paths first, and then you can lay them down as much as you want. So that is pretty awesome, pretty cool. Gives a lot of customization to your island. This island is pretty, pretty big. So just like with Animal Crossing, I am expecting to see tons of islands that are fully decorated to the T. And once Disney adds in, or once Gameloft adds in the ability to visit other people's islands, you're going to see the creativity spark. But anyway, that is another tip. This next tip involves building friendships with your villagers. So the best way to build friendships with them is by giving them gifts every single day. So if you go, if I go and talk to Goofy here and I go down to I have something to give you, make sure you pay attention to what's down here in the bottom right. Giving them these items is going to raise their friendship level a ton, a whole crap ton. Another way that you can raise their friendship level is just by having them follow you around. So say, um, well, Goofy's already following me around, but I have him follow me around and I'll do different things while he's following me, such as fishing or mining, you know, things like that. And also the last way you can uh, raise your friendship is just by talking to them, talking to them. So talk to them every single day. They have different things to say and that will raise their friendship level as well. And then finally, of course, uh, <laughs> one more finally. Sorry, I forgot about this one. But they have obviously they have different quests and things for you to do. So completing those will raise their friendship levels as well. And raising their friendships Later. is very good because it got, it also unlocks different customizations and items, decorations for you on your character. So there is a huge incentive for actually doing things and talking to them. So don't neglect your villagers like some of you do in Animal Crossing. I know you do. I know you do. Hey, here's something else that I kind of accidentally discovered. So let's say you're looking for a certain character, right? You can open up your map and it shows you where all the characters are. But let's take it a step further. Let's take it a step further because maybe you already knew this, right? If you actually click on a character, it will give you a waypoint that will guide you to where they actually are. So that is extremely useful. And there is Moana right there. <laughs> so the only villager, the only new villager that we have right now is Moana. We got her first. So there is Moana and we can talk to her and we can uh, see what she wants. Actually, let me check Moana. Uh, let's see what she likes. She likes pike, white marsh milkweed, and apple sorbet. Uh, so maybe I'll give her some of that. But anyway, that is pretty useful, and uh, maybe Just you didn't know that. Okay. All right, so one final beginner tip that I have for you is make sure you are checking your collection. So if you press O on your keyboard, if you're playing on PC, it will open up your collection. So now you may be looking at this like, oh, well, that's just where all our 
our memories and fragments are. Well, if you go down a little bit here, let's say, for example, to fish, you will see that you can also see things you've caught and where they're located. You can also see things you have not caught and where they're located. So that is going to be pretty useful for you, especially if you're looking for a specific ingredient. Let's say you're looking for gold nuggets. Well, here's where you can find them. And they also sell for 20 each, 20 gold each. You're looking for a certain ingredient, okra. I used to love, I used to love okra as a kid. Well, here's where you can find it. So using your collection is going to save you a lot of time. You won't be wandering around, lost and confused, trying to figure out where to go and how to find certain items. Just go to your collection and everything will be right in there for you. All right, folks, thanks for watching the video again. This is just a collection of some beginner tips that you may or may not have noticed when you first start playing the game. Again, I've only been playing for about five hours, and these are some of the things that I picked up. If you want more tips and tricks in the future, make sure you leave a like and leave some comments down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Again, we're going to be doing a lot more Dreamlight Valley content. We're going to be doing a lot more streams as well, so click that bell icon to stay up to date regarding what's going on with the channel. If you like what you see, I will definitely be making some more. So I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.